<laughs> All right, so um, this tutorial is about, you know what I'm saying, flipping your own melodies, you know what I'm saying, into something different and how you can go about doing it, the steps you can take, changing sounds, doing switch, this, that, that. You already know what's up. Um, as you can see, I already got my melody out. I just chose a melody from my Ice Valley Dark MIDI kit. Y'all can cop that on my beat store. You know what I'm saying? Crazy ass melodies. I got kits from 2022. Matter of fact, 2019, 2020, 21. You know what I'm saying? Got kits right here. Hella kits that I've created. 2022. You know what I'm saying? Hella kits right here. You know what I'm saying? 2023. Still going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So for this MIDI, I used Ice Valley number two. You know what I'm saying? And this is what the melody sounds like. You know what I'm saying? That's what the melody sounds like. So what I'm about to do is, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to switch the sound so y'all can see what's up. So I got the melody, piano melody and all that. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in Analog Lab 5. You feel me? It's a good ass thing. I don't know why I keep looking like this shit. I don't know, maybe my laptop need an upgrade. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a sound. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to Medusa, Medusa section. And I'm going to find a sound that works well with it. Then, I'm going to show you how I do that. You know what I'm saying? That change and flip and stuff like that. So first things first, you got to just have your melody started out. Then you'll find yourself at least two, three nice sounds with the same... You know what I'm saying? Chord pattern and stuff like that. Or you can just add a little switch up somewhere and then you just go ahead. But I'm going to show you how I do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like that. You know, that's too hip hop ish. You know what I'm Doesn't sound too bad if I had a piano to it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't leveled the sounds or anything. You know what I'm saying? I could just cut the piano down a little bit and this right here. You know what I'm saying? So what I'll do is you can EQ your sounds if you want to. You know what I'm saying? I could EQ the piano a little bit so it's not really too much in it. You know what I'm saying? They can do the same for number two. You know what I'm saying? Cut out the lows, you know what I'm saying? Get out of that harshness in it. I can change this to something else to ignore that. Silence the other one. They need to find a good ass sound. Alright, that shit ain't too bad. I like that. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna sound weird to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, being different is good. You know what I'm saying? Being different is good. I changed that and I do like it but it's not what I'm looking for I think where's that um I think it's in the other one that take key um key or something like that yeah there it is sure you find that right sound to you know what I'm saying all right that's not too bad then let's go here quick render the audio so I mean 
it's sometimes finding the sounds that you're looking for can be a hassle sometimes you know well you can take your time find the right sounds and when you do find the right sounds you then render it out to audio you know what I'm saying so I got this all right so sounds like that so here's a thing what you can do you can either time stretch it if you want you can time stretch it to the five cut it down if you chose to you don't have to you know what I'm saying but what I normally do is I just cut the cents the pitch to like 300 cents most times and sometimes I add reverse effect to it or I just go ahead and add half time to it saying you can do the reverse effect you know what I'm saying steer or delay you can add that to it and this right here is the resonance you can push that up a little bit That's one of the ways you can, you know what I'm saying, flip your own melodies, sound it different. So now I'm going to change all this up and I'm going to go do another one. You feel me? I'm going to do another one. Let me cut all this stuff out. All right, I'm going to try something else. Do the same thing, copy, paste. But I'm gonna change this sound to um, something else. You can add reverb to it, also give help give it an ambient. I know you notice that I haven't added any reverb to it or anything, because you know I'm not really doing too much, go too much in depth. I'm just showing you a few little steps that y'all can take to help y'all out. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the Medusa kit section. I need a different type of sound. Sounds that I've used before, not this one. Can make your own sounds sound different than others you know what I'm saying? so uh, I put half time on the piano and for this sound I didn't so because of all that stuff I'm gonna render it out the audio So like, it would be like, ha 
it would be like you adding like two half times on it. So I add the half time on the piano and the other sound, nothing at all. And then I'm gonna drop the audio and put another half time on it. You can add portal or shape a box. I need to understand shape a box a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So I have this. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? I can just go ahead and add it to number three where I have the halftime. You know what I'm saying? I could just do this. Still sounds good. Cut down 400 cents. You know what I'm saying? You can add reverse to it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Put... Ah, oh, crap. Let me uh cut this real quick. Put this right back here. So this going to be right there. And this I'm going to add is make unique. So I'm going to just mute that. This one. Put it on reverse. Then I'm going to go here. And it says on uh, the chop section. Time based. Chop. Oh, shit. Chop in bars. You know what I'm saying? So then I grab the one that's at the back. Put it to the front. And I do it in this order. You feel me? Do it like this. Then we'll play. That type of technique is good on hip hop as well as trap dance hall type vibe if you want to make your dark melodies sound a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and where my producer ground kids at? Cause this this where my fire at. If you heard, this where them fires at. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead, drop that right there. That right there, pull up with a kick for my Wonder Girl kick. At if you ever want your kicks to be like, you know what I'm saying, depending on the kick you choose, and you want that kick to hit harder, you can just go here and boost that. You sound different. You know what I'm saying? Just it's not hitting hard enough. Keep boosting. That, you know what I'm saying? But not too much. You know, feel me? Yeah. Still sound good, you can just go up, change the pitch. Like you're giving yourself like something unique, something different to come up with. I know a lot of people be like bored of the whole trap dance hall type vibe. Cause like 
most times the beats they sound the same most time the melody sounds the same most time a lot of things sound the same so what i'm showing y'all right now is is like little techniques that y'all can use to help be more creative i know it's gonna be like a whole long process and this and that because you could create three melodies and then want to add your drums to it out of that three melodies you can combine two melodies together do a little switch up then convert the other sound to audio drop it down to the same pitch then add it to it you feel me you can do all that so i'm just saying like this one of the techniques are ways you can you know what i'm saying chose to like you know what i'm saying like you can choose to just like to make things different if you understand what i'm saying because us producers are always trying to find our own sound or want to make something different so we stand out so i'm showing y'all something right now that could help y'all you know what i'm saying give y'all some good ass vibe as long as you got good sounds because you can't flip messed up sounds like you got the worst sounds and you want to flip that expect it to sound good now nah, it's not gonna sound good you just gotta have them good sounds you feel me so basically that's just it for this tutorial just a quick quick you know what i'm saying showing y'all how to like you know what i'm saying mess around flip your melodies change stuff and all that you know what i'm saying next time i'll probably do a full ass tutorial flipping melodies and all that and completing it mixing and mastering go straight down to it you know what i'm saying so thank y'all for tuning in on this tutorial I haven't been dropping in a while but thank y'all everybody subscribe get this channel up because i'm trying to reach 10k subs y'all know what's up so i appreciate y'all for tuning in peace out